Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. It is day four of the main event. We are 10 away from the money, which is a $15,000 bubble, which is obviously quite a lot. It's going to take <laughs> 1,517 players left. It's probably going to take about two hours to make the money, but that's okay. I've got 31 big blinds. Table looks reasonable. So yeah, let's just get straight into the action and uh, make the money and then go ahead and just win the main event. Let's do it. All right, rocking up here to the horseshoe. Absolutely buzzing for day four of the main event. The atmosphere is electric. And the reason for that is because as as mentioned we're about 10 away from the money it's a 15k bubble so people are going to be tanking excessively to try and make it in i'm sure you guys might have seen this on social media already but for those that haven't the money bubble means so much to so many people that they start to do some crazy things to try and make it in my buddy joey bold posted this picture on his instagram of a player called gao who had three big blinds to start the day and he was in the big blind in the very first hand he wrote a very heartfelt note and gave one to each of his table mates essentially asking for a walk he asked them not to raise in his big blind so that he could guarantee a cash and use that money to pay for his honeymoon absolutely adorable stuff but i'm not gonna lie if he gives me one of these i'm raising blind in the very first hand onto my own table now and i've got 249k to start the day 31 bigs as mentioned so while i've got a very good chance of making it in i'm certainly not a lock the table does look good apart from jason somerville two to my left i've got no other players that i recognize i've got a german tv presenter known as nossi to my immediate right a very nice guy but he's got a very small stack and his tanking relentlessly the clock gets called plenty of times in the first 10 minutes of the day i'm not shying away from playing pots while i am a shorter stack at the table and i do risk busting out i can still build my stack up if i play the right way in the bubble periods first hand of the day i'm in middle position with red king queen offsuit i raised to 16k the button calls he's an unknown american fella he's got me covered we go heads up to 10 10 8 rainbow i've got really good 10x blockers here so i decide to see bet for 16k with the intention of tripling off if i really need to the button makes the call to the turn kind of relieved to see the queen of hearts roll off i no longer need to blast it in i decide to check here and the button bets very small for twenty-four thousand. i tank for a little bit and then make the call complete brick on the river nothing changes and when i check again he takes about 20 or 30 seconds and then sighs and checks back i show him my hand and he actually smirks at me and says nice catch as he mucks no idea what he had but i'll definitely take it a nice pot coming my way to settle down the nerves a few hands later Later, and a few more clocks called on my boy Nossi and I'm in the big blind again with King Queen offsuit. MP is open for the minimum and I make the call. We go heads up to Jack 95 Rainbow. Nearly the nuts but not quite. I check and MP bet 16k. I thought about raising but I decide to just call. Don't need to do anything too crazy with just a few players away from the money. To the turn it's an offsuit 4 I check and happy to see MP check back. I need a 10 Queen or King to improve on the river. Nope it's an offsuit 6. Still MP has left the door unlocked by checking back the turn and I intend to try and kick it down. I bet around 70% pot on the river hoping to get the fold. No snap fold but no snap call either. He's taking his time thinking about what to do and eventually he folds two out of two hands for me so far today king queen also getting the job done for me really happy to be dragging in this pot as we now go hand for hand just two players away from the money for those that don't know when there's an all-in and a call they hold the action and jack ethel goes across with his microphone and live reports the hand for the entire room it makes for incredible drama let's check out some of the hands as we're two away from cashing the main event we got aces over here for our all-in friend Versus eight six of diamonds. The aces are all in. The eight six of diamonds. Five of spades. Three of clubs. Four of spades. Oh, that's it. Three four five Oops. six with seven or a deuce, huh? Turn is a nine. A nine of clubs. Deuce or seven? Or the aces hold up. King of clubs. Aces hold up. Our friend will double up. We're off to the next one. The whole room is praying for the aces to get cracked. It's a very dramatic flop. I can't imagine how the guy with the aces was feeling. Unfortunately for everyone else in the room, no bueno, and we move on to the next hand. All right, how about the tennis man, the trick spades versus the ace of clubs and the five of spades? Well, the ace of diamonds, queen of hearts, eight of diamonds. Jack on the turn. Right now, aces are good, but he can't catch a king or he did not. We have an elimination. The are going to win. Our man right here is going to be knocked out. We're one away. 
That hand history from Jack was a bit messy, but there is an elimination confirmed and we're now one away. This is called the Stone Bubble. Everyone takes their seats because that's the end of the all-in hands. We play another hand, nothing of note happening at my table before everything pauses once more and we can hear about the all-in hands from all around the room. We got Ace King, Ace of Hearts, King of Spades for the all-in player versus Queen of Spades, Queen of Clubs, Pocket Queen. Let's see the flop. Flop is Jack of Clubs, Ace of Spades, King of Diamonds, Aces and Kings are good. He's looking for a 10, maybe. Or a Queen. Comes a 5, that's no help. Aces and Kings are good. Aces and Kings are good. Four of Diamonds on the river. Aces and Kings double. We have one more. Queen of Clubs, Queen of Spades versus Ace of Hearts and Ace of Diamonds. The all-in player has pocket aces. Let's take a look at the flop. Eight of Hearts, Seven of Clubs, Nine of Spades. Aces are looking for a double up. Three of Clubs on the turn. Let's see the river card. River card was the Six of Clubs. Aces hold up. We got a double up. Two short stacks doubling in those two hands. We've got one last all-in hand in this round. Is this going to be the one that finally bursts the bubble? Let's find out. Who's all in over here? Seat number one is all in versus seat number four. All right, let's turn them up and take a look. Aces for seat four, kings for seat one. Oh, this is a sweat. All right, let's take a look at the flop. Seven of diamonds, six of hearts, tray of hearts. Aces are still good. Turn card was a jack, the jack of spades did not help anybody. So we need a king to stay alive, or the aces is going to knock out the kings. Let's see the river card. River card was a jack, aces and jacks. We have an elimination. I gotta tell you guys, it must absolutely fucking suck being the bubble boy. Everyone is going crazy at your expense. You've just lost out on $15,000. But listen to that cheer from everyone else. What a fantastic feeling it is cashing the main event. Everyone is absolutely delighted and it means so much, especially to the non-pros. You can see Nossi's reaction there when he hears the news. Fun fact about Nossi, he actually goes on the mother of all spin-ups now from two big blinds to 20 big blinds in no time. But yeah, for the third time in my life, I have cashed the main event. I'm very very happy with that in the money now with 286,000 chips one hour and 10 minutes left on the level let's get to work as expected the bus sets are now coming thick and fast loads and loads of shorties who have crawled into the money now putting their last few big blinds in and getting picked off one by one we actually go from 1500 players to the first pay jump at 1249 insanely quickly it goes so fast and now we're guaranteed 17.5k I'm just playing my game hoping to ladder up even further focusing on each spot next up early position opens for 16k it folds to me in the hijack and I look down at queen jack of clubs I remember the hand from day three where I flatted with queen ten of diamonds and got my fingers burned by getting trips versus trips versus full house so I decided to put in the three bet here and make it 46k to go after a very long tank EP lets his hand go kind of relieved to pick up the extra big blinds and antis remember it's four and a half bigs that I've just added to my stack which is absolutely huge at this point every pot is so important next up the hijack is open to 18,000 unknown American guy I'm in the small blind with King Jack of Diamonds I decide to just call the big blind is another American player he was a very nice guy didn't catch his name he makes the call as well we go three ways to 875 with two diamonds important to note that I've got 35 bigs to start the hand and everyone else in the hand covers me I decide to check the flop the big blind actually leads out here for 20k a very impressive lead from him most people would just check to the preflop aggressor the preflop aggressor size and folds and I decide against raising and getting it in here I decide to just call and see a turn to the turn it's not a diamond but I do make top pair it's the jack of spades two flush draws now on board I check once more and the big blind bets once more this time for 65k I don't really think we can jam here I kind of want to just call and let him blast off on all the brick rivers I make the call keep it clean dealer oh no it's an offsuit six this is a horrible horrible river for my hand a four card straight now on board and when I check the big blind tanks for ages before shoving for 183k just before he shoved he looked really weak but after he made the jam I was watching him pretty relentlessly and he looked very strong 
I decided to disregard the live tells and just focus on what I think the theory dictates we should do, which is fold. A really, really nasty run out from my hand. Why can't it just be the deuce of diamonds one time? It's a bit of a setback, but there's nothing you can do about it other than just get on with it. I've still got 23 big blinds, plenty of chips to work with, and almost one orbit later, the hijack opens to 16k. It falls to me in the big blind, and I peel a queen, and then an ace. Let's go. I think this is a very, very easy three bet jam for 23 bigs. I ship it all in. I fade the snap call, but when the hijack asks for a count, he sees that it's 183,000 and makes the call. I don't love it, but when I see he's got ace queen, albeit of the suited variety, I'm just like, all right, chop it up next hand. Not again. Unless it can keep up the soccer talk. Yeah, the I got you. I, I actually felt as though I was listening to another language just then. <laughs> oh, baby, Jean-Claude. Oh, boy. Looks down at the ace king on the button. Gary loves to hear this. Yep. About 40 big steep is Gary. All of it. That'll clear Kenny out of the way. Does make the call, and here we go for almost a 90 big blind pot with about 140 <laughs> players left at the WPT World Championship. Is there any hope for Jean-Claude? Yes, oh there is. Goodness. As it comes 6 five, four, all diamonds. Turn card is the seven of clubs. Oh, chop outs chop available, out. too. Oh my. River card. The oh, eight of diamonds. Wow. Good luck to you. John Claude wow. finds a way, and Gary Blackwood's day is done. I'll be honest, guys. I saw the diamond in the window, and my heart sank. Diamonds have not been kind to me in 10Ks this year. It's a bit of a gnarly cooler, but I'm really happy with how I handled things. I tapped the table. I wished everyone well. And in the aftermath, I wasn't gutted. I wasn't devastated. It didn't take ages to get over it. I just told myself it's a cooler. You can't control coolers. And as long as the hand is well played, then that's all that matters. The hand is well played, so that's all that matters. I finished in 1177th place. Good for 17.5K. It's a very pleasing result in hindsight and who knows maybe next year we'll just go ahead and win the entire thing all right trips that is gonna do it from me ugly way to bust the main event but uh yeah i cashed it so i can't really complain too much uh that's it for me for wsop i am already back here in london don't be disheartened however i've still got lots of great content coming out uh the next vlog i release is going to be the best cash game vlog that anyone's ever released in the history of cash game vlogs so be sure to click that sub button uh, and check it out when it comes I, I had a great time in vegas over the summer really enjoyed updating on all my socials making vlogs along the way already booked another trip back to USA for later this year. Really can't wait. All the best, guys. Thank you very much for following along all summer. See you next time.